welcome back. We are live on the Rachel Ray Show Facebook page. Um, I'm Jeanette, this is my friend Grant. Hello. And today we are celebrating comfort foods. Um, it's a nice, beautiful fall day. And we thought, why not uh, show you some of our go-to favorite comfort food dishes. Um, I've got one, Grant's got a great one. Um, we wanna hear from you guys as always. Why don't you guys comment and let us know some of your go-to comfort foods. Um, and maybe you'll pick up a new one today because we've both got some fun recipes. Grant, what are you working right. on? Um, yeah, so I'm working on um, my comfort food. One of my favorite comfort foods is chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pie. It's super comforting. But the problem is, like, it's kind of hard to make. It's, it's like a time commitment. And you want some good comfort food after work or after school. So I came up with this recipe, and it's kind of a, a lazy version of chicken pot pie. And it's a chicken and biscuits recipe. Yeah. So in this pan, I just a have a lot some of things butter. I like to hear. <laughs> Not a lot yeah, of time. Right? Chicken, Chicken and biscuits. And, biscuits. Um, and it only takes a, you know about thirty minutes to make. So in here, I have some butter that I just melted down. Um, and to that, I'm going to add one onion and some carrot. Um, and the thing I love about this dish is everything is made in this skillet. So it goes from the stove top into the oven to bake off the biscuits, and then it just goes straight to the dinner table. So you can just, I mean, I love that. You, should probably use plates, but you could just eat it right out no, of here. No, you don't need to. to. I would combine. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, these recipes uh, for our two comfort dishes are going to be up on the Facebook page a little bit later. Um, Jessica commented in from Oregon, and she says hello. Hello, Jessica Hi, in Oregon. Jessica. Um, so I'm just chopping up some carrots over here. Um, these are some nice thin carrots, so I'm just kind of doing some coins. Uh, but you could do whatever you wanted. If you really wanted to save some time, you could uh, just use shredded carrots. Oh, I like that. Or you could too. just, you know, break out the cheese grater and just shred them up if you want to. Good That's tip. totally fine too. And if you guys are just joining us, we are making um, some of our favorite comfort foods. Grant's making a beautiful chicken and biscuits casserole. Yeah. Stacy commented and she said that some of her go to um, comfort food dishes are pasta and broccoli wrap. Ooh, yeah. Pasta is pasta is one of our yeah. go to. I had some pasta last night. Yeah, so yeah. yummy. Love pasta. Um, so we're just gonna let this cook down. I'm gonna let this sweat out a little bit. Nice. Turn down this temperature. Um, we get those nice and mm. soft, and then we're gonna start building our gravy. The smell um, of onions and butter just I is know, comforting I, already. It's, it's so already, just you know, so fill the house with the aroma of butter, butter. and you will immediately <laughs> feel comforted. It's like a big hug. Christopher commented, and he says that he makes ham, great northern beans, hey, and um, cornbread. Ooh, that wow. sounds. What's is a great northern bean like? A it's just a, a regular. It's a bigger, it's a white bean. It's a white bean. Okay. The big white ones, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's the great, the great northern bean. <laughs> it sounds very fancy know, for a bean. The great bean. northern bean. I like, I like cornbread. I love yeah. cornbread. Cornbread's cornbread a big comfort dish for me. Cool. Um, Patricia makes. She commented in and she said she makes chicken and dumplings. Patricia, you should try this one. It's yeah. really, really. It's like a one skillet chicken and biscuits. Yeah. Um, Mitzi says hi from North Carolina. Hi, Mitzi. Hello, Mitzi. I love that name. Mitzi. I know it's a good, a good name. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get started on my comfort food dish, and I'm making meatloaf. Who doesn't love it? It's funny. We were talking the other day in the, in the office, and I was we were talking about comfort foods, and I was like, "Yeah, I haven't had meatloaf in so long." And everyone in the room was like, "Oh, meatloaf! I love meatloaf." So um, I think I'm going to show you how to make um, a little bit of a, a healthy twinge on meatloaf because meatloaf is like one of those dishes that I mean, if you put the right ingredients in it, it can be healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Um, and uh, our girl Rachel loves to make. She makes meatloaf a lot. Um, yeah, she does. But years and years ago, I was watching 30 Minute Meals, and she made mini meatloaves. Yeah. And I thought, what a great idea. It's nice portion control. It's nice because it actually cooks in half the time. Yeah. The meatloaf will take a while to cook, you know, like 40 minutes or 50 yeah. minutes. He's cooking 20 in the oven. So. I like to call the mini meatloafs loafies. I like that. Loafies. Loafies. <laughs> um, Linda commented and said, where have you been? Glad you're back. Well, Linda, <laughs> we've been very busy because Thanksgiving is happening around here. I don't know if you've been watching the show, but yes. every single day there's some sort of Thanksgiving content. Um, so we've been cooking a lot of turkeys. A lot of turkeys. Um, the entire... Normally on a day um, when we're when we're taping, this kitchen is full of a bunch of people cooking turkeys, Packed. the entire culinary Stuffing, team, plus a few more people. Green beans, um, so everywhere. So that's what we've been doing. <laughs> um, and and now know, we're here today. Yeah, now we're here, <laughs> making some comfort food. Paul said that gumbo's his go-to comfort Ooh, food. I Paul, like it. I love gumbo as well. Uh, Benny commented and says, uh, good morning from sunny California. Hi, Benny. Yeah. Sunny, sunny California. Benny. Um, and Sarah's uh, comfort food is smoked green ham and beans. Oh, like green, green ham, ham and beans, like green eggs and ham? Green ham, Maybe. okay. I like it. Sure. Sounds delicious. Uh, Crystal says that she likes to make chicken and rice soup. Oh, I mm -hmm. love soup. It's always fun to hear what you guys like to make at home, so keep commenting and let yeah, us know what your fun. favorite comfort I know. foods are. I had some wonton soup last night. That's always a nice comforting oh, yeah. dish, too. All right, guys, so I told you I'm making my mini turkey meatloaf. I started in this pan with some really, really browned cremini mushrooms, maybe like three quarters to a pound. And the mushrooms are gonna add a nice um, like moisture to the, to the meatloaf. Yeah. So I browned those up nicely. I added one small onion, one carrot, and one rib of celery. 
Um, I added a few cloves of garlic, and now I'm just adding in some um, fresh thyme. I just love, we we have boatloads of thyme in the walk-in, yeah. so we're pretty much out of thyme to anything I'm cooking these days. You're going to our big refrigerator <laughs> right now, there's tons of thyme, sage, sage parsley, all rosemary. of those like, um, herbs that taste like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving That's what herbs. we're working with right now. Exactly. Uh, Chelsea commented and said that she likes sweet potato Ooh. fries. Ooh, me too. I worked at this diner in high school, and they made um, sweet potato fries, and I used to dip it in caramel sauce. Oh. Ooh, it was like dessert fries. What? So good. <laughs> that I know. So it good. was delicious. I'm going to serve these with some mashed sweet potatoes because I, I love sweet potatoes too, so make sure you stay for that, Chelsea. Victoria says cheesecake. Victoria? You win. <laughs> my kind of girl. Love some cheesecake. Um, and nice. Pretty excited about by it. By the beach. That'll be nice. Um, what are you doing today? Shocking. I'm hosting. <laughs> I felt like a couple years ago um, when I moved in with my husband. We, my families, are, both of our families like to entertain, but they were like, you're so good at Thanksgiving at this point. I yeah. could pretty much do it with my eyes closed because we cook so many turkeys and mashed potatoes and things here. So I just roll it on one more day. And I love hosting. I love having people over my house. Yeah. So I'll be there for Thanksgiving. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Yeah, let us know. All right. Um, are you, Sweeta's watching. Hey, Sweeta. Hey, Sweeta. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice uh, she says hi from Chicago. Hello. Um, so I'm working on my chicken and biscuits casserole over here. Um, I guess it's a casserole. I like to call it a casserole because it all happens in one dish. But I think that's a casserole. Call it whatever you want. That's what we're <laughs> going to have for dinner. Um, so in here I have our um, onions and carrots. I just cooked that up with some butter. And now we're going to thicken it up with some flour because we're going to turn this into a really yummy gravy. Nice. So I'm going to add about three tablespoons of flour. And you just want to cook that out a little bit um, just to cook out the flour. If you don't cook it out enough, it can be kind of gritty or grainy. Um, and you don't want to taste the flour. You just want to use it to thicken it up. So I'm going to turn up the heat. We're going to cook this up for just about a minute or two. Grant, this is really funny. Victoria just commented, and she said that one of her favorite go-to comfort foods is Sunny Anderson's sweet potato casserole. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. It's one of our favorites, too. Yeah. And one of your favorites also as well. Like, we know a lot of people download that recipe. It's a good recipe. We yeah. love Sunny. Um, Sunny was here for Halloween, and she made this really delicious pepperoni popcorn. Oh. I never thought popcorn could be a comfort Changed food, but it game. tasted like pizza. It was so it was good. Like pizza, pe pepperoni pizza popcorn. Yeah, uh, super yummy. So you can check that um, recipe out on the website. Nice. Um, and here I just um, cooked out our flour with the carrots and the onions. Now we're ready to add in our liquid. Um, I'm going to use a combination of milk and chicken stock. Um, you could just use all milk or all stock. It's totally up to you, but I want to make it nice and creamy, so I'm going to add in this milk. Nice. Um, that's going to make it nice and smooth and creamy. Then I'm going to add about a cup of chicken stock just to sort of reinforce that chicken flavor nice. since we're making a chicken. And I like the tip when I'm making any kind of like bechamel sauces. I always do like maybe a little bit more milk, but I cut it with some chicken stock. Yeah. And it's not all milk. You're cutting it with a little bit of extra totally. flavor, lightening up a little bit. So you're saving those calories for the biscuit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which I might add, Grant cooked me one off before we were doing this and it is delicious. So, so, so yummy. I love yeah. a good I'm not sure I was supposed to be eating it, but I did. <laughs> um, Claudia commented and she says hello from Canada. Hello, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Um, Sean's favorite uh, go to comfort food is gooey mac and cheese stuffed Ooh. meatloaf. Wow. I've never done that before, Sean. That sounds That's a good amazing. one. And Benny says that she's making uh, prime rib mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. That's prime fun. rib. You know, it's funny. We always joke that, like, by the time Thanksgiving rolls around, we're a little tired of turkey because yeah. we pretty much eat Thanksgiving here in the kitchen. Like Rachel and the whole team and us, we pretty much eat Thanksgiving every day, yeah. the month of November. So prime rib sounds good, actually. Yeah. We, we've toyed like maybe we'll make a ham. I think it's fun that we make Thanksgiving so many times before actual Thanksgiving <laughs> because we get to practice. It gets a good right? practice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everyone, like when the turkey time rolls around, I'm sort of like, do I remember how to cook a turkey? But then I get to do it like 1,000 times before Thanksgiving. Exactly. But you know what's also nice is having, you know, all of our wonderful teammates and Rachel on speed dial, yes. <laughs> too. That's a helpful job for people who know what they're doing. Um, so I'm just going to bring this to a boil and let it get nice, nice and thick. And once that thickens up, we'll be ready to start building um, um, the rest of our It's starting to smell good in here. Yeah, what are you doing good. over here, Jenna? Um, I've got all my vegetables softened up, and so I'm going to add this to my meat meatloaf. Like I said, I'm making mini turkey meatloaf, so I'm going to serve them with some sweet mashed sweet potatoes. Because yeah. um, meatloaf's just one of those dishes that screams comfort to me. Um, so I'm just going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. Oh, yummy. That's um, some so, comfort right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel much, I feel very comfortable right now. Um, Jill commented and said that she loves stuffed shells. Oh, I love Ooh, stuffed shells, yum. too. Um, Tomorrow, I think it's tomorrow on yeah. the show. Um, J um, Jake Smollett. Yes. Didn't he make stuffed shells? He made like an unstuffed. Oh. It was manicotti. Yes. He's making that tomorrow, but he does this really interesting thing where he cooks the manicotti um, and sort of cuts it and uses it as like layers of pasta. It was such a really, really yummy. Um, it was cool, easy too. Yeah, it's super really good. Easy yeah. casserole. So if you like stuffed shells, make sure you check that yeah, out. Yeah, that was one of his mom's recipes. Um, and Jen one. commented and said Italian beef in a slow cooker is her favorite. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Slow Love cookers sweet. are, especially this time of year, are really great. You very great, very popular, super easy. Um, all right, I just deglazed this pan with a little bit of white wine. We're gonna let that cook out. Um, but now you really want to let um, you want to let your uh, vegetables cool completely before you add it to the um, to the meat because you don't want that to like get warm. So I have that one cooled on the back counter. Do you want to add some more stuff to your casserole? Sure. Yeah, I'll get started. I've got this just cooled nicely. Um, so our here. sauce is kind of thickening up. You can see it's getting nice and bubbly and thick over here. Um, so now we can start adding up the rest of um, our vegetables to make it taste like pot pie. Now at this point, you can pretty much add anything you want. Um, I'm using frozen peas and frozen corn um, just because that's what I think about when I think about pot pie. Um, but this is also a great use for leftovers. If you have any leftover potatoes or leftover roasted vegetables, so um, you could throw those into here. It could be an everything pot pie. Totally. Means don't stop it, chicken, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this is just some rotisserie chicken. Like I said, this would be a great leftover dish because you can use leftover oh, chicken. Yeah. But since it is almost Thanksgiving, you could use this leftover turkey. Awesome, well. yeah. And Rachel, actually, on tomorrow's show, she's got a really good um, leftover turkey recipe because those oh, are so yeah. popular right now since everybody's about to have turkey on the mind. She made a turkey ragu cowboy spaghetti. It was so it was yummy. so yummy. We ate that for lunch that day. I ate, I ate it too much of it. for dinner, oh, actually. <laughs> I ate a little too much of it that day. I liked it so much. All right, Marie commented, and she said, food, says, food always looking good on Rachel's show. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. <laughs> um, Crystal said, what about canned... Oh, here she's got a Thanksgiving question to pose us. Ooh, what do we think about canned cranberry jelly? Love it. Love it. We I all it. we all feel pretty passionate. Yeah. I love I love a good cranberry um, cranberry sauce recipe. Yeah. But I also equally love the can. Yeah, I think in our family we serve both. We because, do both. You know, people like the stuff from the so can good. and the fresh stuff too. They're actually pretty different, but they're fun to have both of them. I like both. Um, and I like the canned stuff for leftovers because you can spread yeah. it on a sandwich really nice. I actually buy it because I love to make Thanksgiving leftover sandwiches kind of all year round. Yeah. So I stock buy it, and now my basement's filled with cans of cranberry yeah. sauce. So if you guys need cranberry sauce, you Just know give me where a call. to go. Just go to Jeanette's house. Um, Darren said that she likes to make cheesy bacon mashed Ooh, potatoes. Oh, that, that sounds, sounds really good. Um, um, and VJ commented and said um, hey that they're drooling over there over the food. VJ's one of the um, food stylists here at the show. She's over in the office probably Come watching. Come on down. It's She's almost probably lunchtime. excited to have some lunch later. I know. Um, and Crystal commented and said that she's making honey glazed ham, potatoes, mm. and something else. Oh, cornbread. <laughs> and some cornbread. Another cornbread. I like I like how many of you guys eat cornbread when you're eating comfort food. I love it. Yeah. Um, all right. So I added our um, mixture into two pounds of ground turkey breast. Um, I'm using ground turkey breast just because it's a little healthier, very lean, high in protein. Yeah. Um, but you guys can absolutely make this recipe with beef or chicken or whatever you guys have in the fridge. Um, so I added, it's a, an onion, a carrot, celery, garlic, thyme, all of those nice flavors, a bunch of mushrooms. Um, and so now it's, I'm going to add in, I'm adding in a, a half a cup of um, whole wheat panko breadcrumbs. I love panko breadcrumbs. I think yeah. they're really nice and fluffy. And I think if they're whole wheat, maybe they're a little healthier for me. So I'm going for that. <laughs> um, I'm going to add in an egg. I added in about a quarter of a cup of ketchup because if you know me, ketchup is one of my go-to favorite condiments of all time. Yeah. And you can't have meatloaf without ketchup. Totally. You just cannot do yeah, that. Yeah, meatloaf and ketchup like go hand in hand. Exactly. You have to have it. Um, Maria commented and said hi from Ontario, Canada. Hi. She's happy to be watching us both. Thanks oh, for watching, thank Maria. Thank you, Maria. We're happy you're with us. Uh, Victoria commented and said that she likes to make portobello pot pie. Ooh, like a vegetarian pot pie. Yeah, I like. That's good. a great idea. Um, and Carol commented and said that she makes her grandma's cranberry orange relish on Thanksgiving. Oh, that sounds good, too. Yeah. Actually, um, Emerald's going to be on the show in a few weeks, and he's making a cranberry um, orange relish as well, so you have to stay tuned for that. We love yeah. when Emerald comes. Um, and Paula's making a cornbread dressing with shrimp. Oh, nice for That's Thanksgiving. That is interesting. Yeah. That sounds really good. Um, all right, guys, so into my um, meatloaf mix over here, like I said, it was chicken. I added in my panko breadcrumbs, and I'm adding in um, kind of a little of the healthy secret ingredient. I'm adding in some flax, some ground Ooh. flax seeds. Um, flax kind of helps bind things together as well as the egg. It also adds a bunch of nutrients to it. So yeah. I'm just like, I'm all about kind of hiding. Oh, Grant, can you throw my parsley in here real quick? Yes. Sorry, I got dirty before I added it in. Thank you. Um, I'm kind of all about, like, especially with a meatloaf, I'm all about, like, how many opportunities can you sneak in a little bit of extra nutrients, some extra vegetables, some extra protein or fiber? So um, I feel like meatloaf is one of those really good recipes that you can kind of sneak anything in. You know, some nice mushrooms in here. I added a little bit of parsley. Um, Jill says that it's upside down. Jill says mini turkey meatloafs with topped with barbecue sauce. Oh, that's really nice. Ooh. Mini turkey meatloafs with barbecue sauce. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whatever. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> could still read it. All right, so um, I'm going to form these, like we said, into six mini loaves. Actually, from this stage of the game, I was thinking when I was mixing up my one uh, for the finished one, you can kind of make, you can like roll these into meatballs and make meatloaf meatballs. Yeah. You can turn this into a burger patty and make meatloaf burgers. Yeah. Like, it's kind of, meatloaf Or if you're Benny, you could stuff it with mac and cheese. Yeah, oh, I like that. Yeah. I Why know, not? I know. Oh, my mom's watching. Hey, hey mom. mom. <laughs> uh, she said, what are you making us for Thanksgiving? Yeah, Grant, what are you making us for Thanksgiving? I don't know. <laughs> Gammy, I think you guys need to cook for him. Um. He's been cooking Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> the fun part about Thanksgiving in my family is everybody likes to cook. So we all kind of do, Aww. you know, our own little thing. That's so nice. Um, we have a lot of, you know, different things we make every year. So I, like, I know. I like the traditional things. I know. Yeah. I really like the traditional things. Um, Heather says that you guys rock. Hi, Heather. Thank Thanks, you for Heather. watching. We think you rock, too. All right. So I'm just going to form these into six little um, mini meat loaves. And just, you know, whatever shape. Here, yeah, sure. Thank you. I'm all about You know, some little, like, whatever kind of shape you guys want. You can get fun with that. I just like to make little, little guys. I'm going to brush the tops with ketchup. I'm going to pop them into a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. So like we said, these cook up super, super fast. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you what they look yeah. like in a little bit. These are great for football season, too. Oh, yeah, right. They're they kind of like shaped like footballs. footballs. You can just toss them to your I friends. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to get started down here on the right. biscuit topper for our pot pie. Um, you can see how these. yummy and thick this pot pie filling is now. Look at all those yummy veggies that are in there. It looks great. Um, so I'm going to get started on making the biscuit topper for that. So in here, um, I have some flour. This is about three cups of flour, and I'm going to add in three teaspoons of baking powder. And then one teaspoon of baking soda. Um, now, I love making biscuits, and it's a really fun thing for me to do. I don't know why, I just really enjoy it. Um, but if you don't want to make biscuits, or if this is like a part that, you, the part that you want to skip because this is like an after work dinner or something, you could just use some store-bought puff pastry, you can use store-bought biscuits if you want. Nice. Um, but I think biscuits are super easy to make um, once you kind of get the hang of it. Which so. is funny because I constantly watch you bake all the time, and I still haven't gotten the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> Much like our girl range, I'm not so into baking. But actually, I was paying attention to Grant making these today. I'm going I'm to try them at Thanksgiving this year. Oh, I'll really? let you know how they go. Yeah, Come I on. think so. Um, so in here, I have our flour, baking soda, baking powder, and some salt and pepper. And to that, I'm going to add in some cheddar cheese uh, and some dill. Ooh. So these are going to be some nice, like, savory biscuits yeah. on top. Nice. That sounds uh, good. And then this is a tip that if, you, or if you're making biscuits for the first time or if you want to make biscuits and, like, kind of improve them, um, this is a really, really great tip. What I like to do is grate the butter on a box grater. Like so what ends up happening is you get these really long, thin, like, strips of butter, almost like shredded cheese. And those turn into the layers in the biscuits. So you're going to get these nice, tall, like, pretty biscuits. Yes. And then you don't have to, like, really put your, you know, because a lot of biscuit recipes you have to, like, put your hands in there and get, like, a biscuit cutter. This way you don't have to do that at all. You just kind of throw it in there and toss it around. That is a wonderful tip. Yeah. Um, Maxine commented, and she says hello from Washington, and that she loves to watch our cooking. Oh, Thank fun. you, Maxine. Thanks, Maxine. Um, all these recipes are going to be up on the Facebook page just a little bit later, Maxine. So let us know if you make any of these as well. We love to see. We love to hear from you guys and yeah. see what you guys are cooking. Debbie says that she loves A1 steak sauce in her meatloaf. Debbie, I approve of that as well. That sounds <laughs> absolutely delicious. And Lana said, how much flaxseed did I add to the chicken to the chicken loaf? Uh, the turkey meatloaves, I put, I did about three tablespoons. Um, and I'll put, again, the recipe will be posted a little bit later. Just enough to kind of like bind it all together. And it's one of those things that's like adding nutrients, but it's not changing the flavor. So yeah. I like that as well. Um, Lynn said, can you make meatloaf without ketchup? Absolutely. Yeah, you could use A1 steak sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solving each other's problems, guys. Um, Lynette says that her go-to um, comfort food dish is cheesy zucchini sauce. She's like her grandma. Yeah, that sounds really good. All right, do you need my help now? Yeah, so over here. I I'm baking, guys. <laughs> I just floured our service with a little bit of flour. Nice. Um, and Jeanette, I'm just going to eyeball the buttermilk. But in okay. here, we have some buttermilk. We're going to add okay. like a cup to a cup and a half. So nice. I'm just going to start stirring. All right, guys, I have one job add today. That in. Looks perfect. Good. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, maybe stop. Okay. <laughs> and we'll see. Um, that's what Bonnie commented, and she said that she wanted meatloaf today, so she's going to go out and have some now. <laughs> I'm Ooh, glad we inspired you. Right. And who doesn't, I mean, have you ever said no to meatloaf? Like, I feel like that's just such a nice... I haven't, and I, I never will. And I never, ever will. Um, Sarah says that she brings, oh, for her Thanksgiving, she brings sugar-free pecan pie, green bean casserole, and Waldorf salad. Oh, yummy. That sounds I delicious. Love a Waldorf salad. I do, too. Can I have a little, a little more bit butter? more? Yeah, like, okay. mm, that's good, okay. I think. Um, so that's, this is the part that I think is kind of fun, because you can just kind of eyeball it. I'd say um, you probably use a little bit more than a cup. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do a tiny bit. Now. Okay, just a splash. Maybe another splash. Another splash. Yeah, that's I'm nervous, good. guys. 
Because once you add too much buttermilk, you can't really. You go can't back. go back. So that's like that's a that's a good tip in cooking in general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go too far because you can't go back. Um, Lisa commented that in the meatloaf you could use spaghetti sauce instead of ketchup. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Rachel actually has an Italian meatloaf recipe. Yeah. Um, where it's kind of like balsamic tomatoes and all that yumminess inside. All right, all right let's switch so spots so you dough. can make the magic Just biscuits. Just gonna put that out to our floured surface. That just comes together really fast. I know, right? It's super easy. Yeah. And if you measured all these ingredients like the night before. That's true. And then you can just come home and throw it all together, pop right. it into the oven, and it's kind of a make-ahead dinner. Grant, Mindy commented and she wants to know what we think of tofurkey. Tofurkey? Yes. I've never had it. You've never Don't had it? I think I ever will. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but if you like it, go for I've it. I've tried tofurkey. A couple of my really good friends are vegans, um, and I've had I've had tofurkey. Um, it's it's good. Not my favorite thing I've ever had. Yeah. I was a vegetarian for a long time, and I used to eat tofurkey slices on yeah. bread, and that's kind of just like a vehicle to eat a sandwich. Yeah. Um, but it's fine. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, it's definitely a nice option. Yeah, I think if I were a vegetarian on Thanksgiving, I would just eat the sides, because yeah. that's my favorite part I anyway. I kind of just eat the sides on Thanksgiving anyway. Yeah, that's the best part. I know. Oh, Sweeta commented that your bacon potato salad is her favorite comfort food. Ooh, really? That was, that was a recipe Sweeta? we made on Facebook Live over the summer, when we were doing all kind of um, picnic sides and stuff. Yeah. That was a good one. That was a fun day. We, we like we like those sides. And Sarah said that she uses chili sauce in her meatloaf. That sounds good as well. Yummy. I that like would that. Be little, I love how many spicy. suggestions are coming. I feel like meatloaf and and uh, and chicken casseroles are like the passion today. I'm really yeah. I'm excited. Um, will you throw this, these biscuits yeah. right on top of the casserole? Just kind of wherever. Yeah, you can just kind of throw them wherever. Nice. Um, and then you know once you get to the, the end of your cutting out of the dough, you just kind of form it back together. And just just do keep a few going. More. I was telling Jeanette earlier that my mom makes biscuits every Sunday. I like that. And once she gets down <laughs> to the smallest bit that uh -oh, you can't yeah. make any more biscuits out of, she turns into little dog treats. So then all of her dogs get biscuits as well. <laughs> Shout out to Zoila. And what's what's your mom's new puppy's name? Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> We're <Sorry, laughs> mom. I haven't met the new She's dog. She's so cute. Zoyla. Your mom no, keeps posting cute. pictures. She's so, so cute. All right, there this we looks go. So I can't wait to eat and this. Then, with this one, you make a little dog. A little dog there. biscuit if you're Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy said that she makes mini meatloaves and she wraps them in bacon. Oh. That's a nice way, too. Yeah, and the best part about mini meatloaves is that they cook in such a short time. Like, they're done in 18 to 20 minutes at 400. Like, it's on the table. And actually, we were talking if you were to make, like, meatloaf, like, burgers, that would cook on the stovetop even faster. You made a little dog bone for Isabel. I, as I was doing it, I was like, I don't think I know how to do this. <laughs> Maybe you should watch your mom. It's like a little blob. <laughs> Pam's look much nicer today. Oh. I'm gonna pop this into the oven. Nice. We're gonna let it cook. And yeah. are you gonna finish up your I'm gonna show you guys how to make I'm gonna finish up. I'll pull up my meatloaf in a second. It's just in the oven. I'm gonna show you guys what I like to serve my mini meatloafs with, which is some mashed sweet potatoes. And this is a very, very simple recipe. And I mean it's great Thanksgiving side because who doesn't have sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving? But like Rachel always says, and I completely agree with her, sweet potatoes are like ounce for ounce, just so healthy for you. Like such a nice option in the produce section. They're inexpensive. Um, and who doesn't love a nice mashed potato? So I've got um, this about two or three pounds, depending on how many people you have. Um, you chop them up in like sizes, you start them in cold water, you bring them up to a boil, and then you make sure that they're fork tender. Then you, um, now that now that they're fork tender, I had those cooked right before we started, I season with a little salt and pepper. I like to use buttermilk, you would use buttermilk in your biscuits. I like to use a little bit of buttermilk too, because buttermilk, by nature, is low fat. Like I know the, the bottle says low fat, yeah. but buttermilk is made from skimmed milk, so that's nice. That's and it adds a nice tang too. and creamy and thick, exactly. Yeah. It adds a nice texture without having to add heavy cream to your potatoes. Um, Chelsea commented and said she wants to try to make sweet potato salad. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Chelsea, I'm gonna add that to my list idea. of things to figure out, because I really like that. Um, and Kenny said that meatloaf, we were talking about meatloaf sandwiches oh, yeah. yesterday too. Meatloaf sandwiches are the bomb. Yeah. So good. So delicious. It's kind of like a good reason to make meatloaf. Yeah, it's the best the part. Of, it's like Thanksgiving. The best exactly. part is the leftovers. Um, Judy says hi from Colorado. Hi, Judy. Hello, Colorado. Thanks for watching. Um, and Nicole adds stuffing mix to her meatloaf <gasps> and string cheese. Ooh, I thought about that because there's so much stuffing mix in the grocery store right yeah. now. And I was, I was I was over at the grocery store the other day and I was like, wouldn't that be fun to add a little, like make a Thanksgiving loaf? Yeah. But then like we said. cranberry sauce like, on Yeah, top? that's what I was thinking yeah. instead of ketchup. But then I was like. We have a lot of Thanksgiving in this kitchen already, <laughs> so I'm not super in the mood for that. Maybe in like February or March when we're when we're done. Yeah. Um, so then I added I added a little bit of maple syrup. So that's when I said these were like very few ingredients: oh, some sweet potatoes, salt, pepper, buttermilk, and a little bit of some fresh maple syrup. And that just brings out the nice sweetness of the sweet potatoes because they are so sweet already. Uh, Crystal commented and said that sweet potatoes are underrated. Agree, Crystal. Them. Crystal, yeah. I totally agree sweet with you. And they're so healthy, like a nice healthy carbohydrate, really easy and yummy. 
Um, all right, so I'm going to plate some of this up. Susan says hi from San Diego. Oh, hello, hello, San Diego. Susan, <laughs> Hello, San Diego. All right, so them? where are they? Oh, Which oven not in there. <laughs> <laughs> I put them in one of these ovens. All right, guys, so these are my mini turkey meatloaves. Look at those. Look how nice they came out. I brushed them with a little bit of ketchup before they popped in the oven, and that gets all nice and caramel and cr caramelized and crispy on top. And yeah, I'm, I, everyone in this kitchen has been like really, our friend VJ came in, she's right here ready to eat one. <laughs> uh, Gina commented and said she made sweet potato Ooh. lasagna last night. That sounds yummy. Gina, tell us what's in that. I've never yeah. made that before. That sounds delicious. All right, I'm going to plate some of this All right, up. I'm going to grab mine from the oven. All right. I think it's time to eat. It's, it's lunchtime. Ooh, yeah. VJ's hungry. <laughs> Here's our chicken and biscuits casserole. <gasps> Check that out. Whoa! Doesn't that look yummy? Wow, Grant. Um, I went, before yourself. I put it in the oven, I topped it with a little bit more cheese. Yeah, you did. Just to, because, you know. Why not? Why not? You always <laughs> need more cheese. Um, why not? So here's our chicken and biscuits. I'll plate up one of those for us to try. These look nice. so good, Jeanette. Yeah, aren't they so cute? Here, I'll plate yeah. one up. And I like how you did them on little individual things, because it's also like portion control, It, it is right? portion control. It's nice. Um, you can eat three of these, correct? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's comfort food, guys. So yes, you here. Would you like to try a little yeah. bit? With the nice little mashed sweet potatoes. I oh, there's oh, pork they somewhere. Inside. Here you go. Meat loaf. Oh my gosh, Joey Cola's watching. Joey Cola. Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. <laughs> Joey, we talk about you on Facebook Live all the time. Joey Cola is our audience warm-up guy here at the show, yes. and he's here on every show day. And he just makes life so happy, so mm -hmm. fun. He makes our audiences laugh and cry laughing. He's the most entertaining man we know. Joey, we love you. Come get out, come grab a meatloaf. Where are you, Joe? This is yummy. Is it good? I love it. Yeah, so the the, the mushrooms add some nice moisture to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do the same thing. I dip the meatloaf in the mm -hmm. potatoes. It's like one bite. Totally. I'm gonna give it a so try. Good. Too. I love that. Oh, Joey Cole is on the train. Are you mm -hmm. on your come on in, Joey, if you're on your way to the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's on the train ride home. Oh, Joey, you just missed oh, you. Bye, Joey. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Mm, um, that is good. I'm gonna plate up some of these. Yeah, I wanna try that. I really wanna try that. Um, Leah says, okay, now I'm hungry and it's not dinner time. It's lunch time, isn't it? Where do you live, Leah? <laughs> it's a little bit after lunch time here in New York and yeah. I think we know what we're eating for lunch today. All right, so um, Jeff says hi from Idaho. Hello, hi, Jeff. Jeff. Oh, that it looks, looks really yummy. Good. It looks really um, yummy. And if you wanted to, you could top this with a little bit of parsley, but you don't have to do that. <laughs> we're having lazy days. comfort food today, guys. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm-hmm. So you have those nice, crispy, flaky, like buttery biscuits on top, yum, yum, yum. creamy chicken <laughs> on the bottom. Doesn't that look yummy? Really, really good. I'm gonna get a piece of biscuit. Um, like we were saying earlier today, guys, all of these um, recipes will be on the Facebook page later today. I pop. So make but sure you come so and check good. those out. Mm. Ooh, that is good. It's really yummy. I like it. We're gonna continue right, eating Yeah, this. we have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go, but if you guys wanna check out those recipes, make sure you come back and make sure um, you like Comment, share, and cook. And Maria says hi from Rocky Mountains, hi, Canada. Marie. Hi, Maria. Hi. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. This is so good. It's, it's very nostalgic and 